everyone and uh, welcome to a new video we're still with uh, our uh, training and the preparation for elastic certified analyst if you're new to the channel uh, my name is Mohammed and uh, in today's uh, topic we will uh, discuss um, or how we can use alerts uh, in Kibana so uh, to be able to create uh, an alert in Kibana there is many ways to do that um, but we will start with the first thing so I will just remove this one. So you, you can see here an alert, right? And when you click on create alert, so you see this um, additional setup required. So during the exam, you will not see this one because your environment is ready to use. But if you are deploying the uh, environment and you are using local environment, uh, I mean Elasticsearch and Kibana to practice, you will see this and to be able to solve it. So we are missing this. Um, we, uh, we have to add this configuration to Kibana. So so we will go here uh, i will just go here to to kibana i will stop kibana right and here i will open i will open kibana uh, this is config file this is called this is kibana.yaml and i will add add here and the value of kibana i will i will bring it from here so the value we have to uh, add this encryption key how to generate it we have a command line tool uh, it's here we have this command so we will be able to be here and we do bin kibana what's the name uh, it's encryption key encryption key generate you click and here we go you have you have an encryption key this is the configuration uh, required that we are missing here so I will copy paste. So this is encryption XPAC. Let's just make sure that we are copying the same or the correct one. So it's the correct one. Um, I will save, save the file. And here I will restart Kibana. I will uh, give it a few seconds to, uh, to restart. And once it restarts correctly, I will refresh and we will be able to see, <coughs> uh, we will be able to create uh, rule in Kibana. So let's wait. It's restarting, and it's supposed to be ready in a few seconds. Let's refresh. It's uh, refreshed automatically. Username and password. Uh, login. Here we go. So you click on alert now, and you have two things. So manage and create. We will start with create. All right. So create is. Um, is easy as you can see just you click uh, on create wherever from here discover and we will see also in the dashboard i think or a visualization we can do and from uh, from stack management also we can do that um, name uh, we can give a topic 3.4 for example 3.4 dev so the, so this will be on the flight as usual um i don't know we will uh we will do so this one what what is doing so here we can add the filter we can add uh, a query so if we want for example destination countries will be us or will be one um i don't know new york i don't know abu dhabi on this one i'm just i'm just choosing uh, if you want to run a KQL or type a KQL query, it's also the same. You can do that, right? Um, so this is the conditions of our detection or our, of our uh, alert. So when you can choose count or sum or average or uh, mean max. So it depends on the scenario. We will choose the count over what? Uh, over all documents or uh, top documents. We will keep it all. Um, is above 10,000 so here it's above uh, equal below below or equal and between so if it's between you will put a range here if it is above you can just keep it 10 or 1000 or 10,000 or 100 whatever the value they they specify for the last what for the last five minutes so you can go back like the look back time so it can be five minutes five hours five days and so on and so forth um, this is uh, last so set number of document to send so this is uh, 100 so you they will they will specify it like what's the size they want to do 
Um, here, if you want to test your query, so you have a matched uh, document. If you want to copy the query and you want to go, for example, here to, um, to DevTools, I will open it in another page. If you want to go here to DevTools and you, you paste it here, this is the query. So uh, you, you copy it. So here you have to add the get request and you will be able to see uh, the value. So check every what. So this is like loop. It will run the query every one minute or every one day or every one hour or whatever. And here the action. Um, there is, um, uh, as you can see here, connector. We can send uh, the alert uh, to an email or uh, uh, as you can see here, we have many, many tools like this, IBM or Jira or Microsoft or Slack, ServiceNow, so all of these uh, connectors. During the exam, you will not be able to, or they will not probably ask you to create a connector because it, re it required some uh, configuration. But don't worry, it's easy. Even if they ask, they will provide you with the, they will provide you with the credentials, right? If they, for example, ask you to do the email or Jira or they, uh, or Slack, they will give you the requirement or the, uh, um, the credentials to create, uh, to create, uh, to create a, a connector. So here for us, for example, we will, uh, we will, we will create a connector for, uh, for index. I will, we will call it alerts and here the index as well. We'll call it, I will call it alerts or, or I will call it notifications like this. And here also we will, I will name it notification, notifications, sorry. And here. You have to select it because if you just type it, it will not, um, uh, it will not select. So, save. We have create a connector. Uh, we will see later um, uh, the, the 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 connector or the connector, the list of connectors that we have. Uh, now, if you want, so uh, if it it did match, uh, or if we have an alert, what we want to send to this index, we want to send, as you can see here, we have many things that we can see for example here uh, alert id uh, condition and and so on and so forth and if if you see here um, uh, the syntax should be a json and here we have uh, the access to the documentation to see a few examples if you want so um, this is the syntax of the uh, of the json it should be uh, something like this all right so let's let's take a copy or let's just let's just do it uh, like this right so it will be like this it will be something like this here we go here we don't have any error in your, sorry, any error, and you save, um, you save all the configuration, right? So now let's see, uh, or let's say I want to uh, check my my uh, my rule or my alert. I click on manage. I can find it from here, or if you click here on stack management, you come here to stack management. You see alerts, and you find here a rule. You click on the rule, and you have your alert here, right? So you click on the uh, alert, and here. You have the description, you have uh, the notification, and so on and so forth. So this is also the history of uh, the execution of your uh, of your alerts. So here you will be able to see how many succeed, warning, failed, uh, and so on and so forth. Right. Um, this was a, a quick overview about the uh, about the uh, about the alerts in in uh, in Kibana. Uh, it will not be something really uh, advanced during the exam, but generally speaking, this is um, what they will uh, talk about. Do let me know, uh, please, if you have any uh, question in the uh, comment section, and uh, we'll see you in the next topic.